And now, live from Laurel, Maryland, USA, the Silicon Trailer Park, it's snack time. <laughs> oh, people, thank you. I was sick the other day, and your letters and your emails and the calls are so very appreciated. But guess what? I'm better, and I'm back. I'm back with a snack. I'm back with your snack. Let's get to the snack. I'm back with your snack. Anyway, today's snack is another karaoke snack. I have two friends named David and Brent, and they are bartenders at a country bar in D.C. And they have karaoke. And God knows that I love karaoke! You know, I think it's an art form. I think it's a way to express yourself, as Madonna so eloquently put it. And if you like to sit back and have a beer with uh, cowgirls and cowboys, I'd say a good old-fashioned country karaoke bar is the way to do it. So anyway, on with the tale. Hold on. It was Wednesday night, and I was at the local karaoke bar, and Brent was bartending. Now, Brent is a wise bartender, and he does not want to mess with the frickin' karaoke machine. So he said, okay, here's what's going on. I am tired of trying to sell these drinks and also work the karaoke machine. So, I'm I want to volunteer. Who's going to work the karaoke machine? Two hands shot up. Two hands shot up. One of them was, was Wheel. The blonde-haired, country-singing boy who just loves to sing him some Garth Brooks. He says, Brent, I'd be happy to work the karaoke machine for you. I'd be happy to. So Brent said, fine, go to it. So Will picked up the microphone. He went, welcome, welcome one and welcome all to karaoke, country karaoke. Tonight I'm going to be the first one to start off the singing. And he started to sing, people. His favorite singer, Garth Brooks. I got a friend who arises. All of a sudden, Beth, Beth, who was another karaoke regular a la Wednesday nights, piped out, This is so not fair! And everyone was like, What's wrong, Beth? And Brent said, What's wrong? And she said, Why does he get to work the karaoke? I come in every Wednesday night. I'm a good customer. I want to work the karaoke machine. Fine. So she says, Hello, everybody. I am Beth, and I'm going to sing a Celine Dion song from Titanic. And she started to sing, Near far wherever you are, I believe in my heart. And Will pipes up. Will, the country singing boy, says, Hold on one minute. Hold on one cotton-picking minute. I did not I have another song I want to sing, and I'm so tired of all this control. So Beth looks at him and says, it is my turn to sing. Don't try to correct me. And they started fighting. They started going at it. And Beth's a big girl. And she pushes him away. And Will said, no. Get off of me. Oh, no. And I said, I want to sing too. I have the music in me. And everyone started to applaud. And then Beth said, I'm going to take the floor again. And I'm going to sing the song Fancy by Reba McIntyre. And she hit the button on the karaoke machine stopping Will's song and she began to sing oh fancy was born in a one cabin shack with a mama who was a whore and a daddy on crack fancy's a bad girl yes siree oh fancy do you remember me fancy and of course will said hold on a cotton pick and frickin' fucking minute this is so unfair just because she's a woman. I have a voice. I've got some lungs, and I want to sing unto the Lord. Hit it. And he turned off fancy, and he started to sing another Garth Brooks, Brooks hit. Oh, I got friends in no places where the whiskey. And then fight kept going, and blood flew, and they fought in the machine. And finally, David, the other bartender, said, Enough! Enough. Karaoke is indeed an art form. And I will not have this sacrilege in my bar. You take your fancified Reba McIntyre singing ways. You take your countrified singing ways and you get the hell out of here. Go. And people, the moral of the story is this. Some of us have in our hearts to do a line dance. Some of us have in our hearts to sing unto the Lord, and some of us have our hearts to sing unto the country. But we must respect, and as Jerry Springer taught us, and each and every final thought within the last two or three seasons, be good to yourselves and one another. Cut.